So the four-year wait is finally over. Day one of the grandest event in world football. And a grand welcome to you as you join us for our live coverage of what we hope will be a game that sets it off in style. Just have a look at it, feel it. This really is the best of the beautiful game. Emotion at fever pitch and the players are ready. The Berra Rio here in the southern Brazilian city of Porto Alegre really is a giant bear pit of a stadium. And here is the national anthem of Chile. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. Day one, and everybody eager to get off to a good start. Well, Peter, I can tell you that both managers will have stressed the need for a very strong start here. Both have also indicated a, a front-foot approach. If that is the case, then I don't think we're going to be complaining at the end. I certainly hope we'll be eulogising. There's an awful lot resting on this, and we'll probably end up reflecting on that. Got things on the way. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Nicholas Otamendi. He's a, a fine defender, both in the air and on the ground, and a, a real tough competitor who, who loves a physical duel. He knows how to pick out a pass too, and he'd be looking to get his team moving forward as soon as any opposition attack breaks down. He often likes to step into midfield. Well, quite no argument for me on that one. Hoists it forward. He's gone for it! He's pulled off a fine save. The ball simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Cleared away. Isla. Looks to clip it forward. Tried to play it through. The movement was good, but the pass lacked. A Tries a shot! Taliafico with a long pass. And it's Oriana. Played into the middle. And he's cut it out. Chile have a free kick. He's tried the shot. Otamendi going full steam ahead down the left flank. Martinez. He's a clever pass. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Alexis Sanchez. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. 
Forward pass. Cuts it out. Oreana. He's pinged one for a big chance. Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stops. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited, and they need filling, and fast. And it's played forward. Martinez, and Martinez! Goal! Argentina! And it's Argentina in front. That is stunning, just too hot to handle. That is just the top draw finish. He was always in control, he couldn't have placed it any better. Argentina break the deadlock. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here Well the crowd clearly like what they just saw some real no-nonsense defending Otamendi And it's Dybala. Martinez. Orellano. Now it's Sanchez. Hardly anything between the sides. And the score is 1-0. Done very well to intervene. Yeah, that's top defending in preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Messi! Oh, no shortage of confidence there. He's the one player you want on the ball running at defences, and that's precisely why. Vidal drives it forward. And that's been won straight back. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. Yeah, and he has to change his ways, or this referee could soon change his status. Right through the middle. There's the end of the first half. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up tonight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Argentina come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. We're already back on the way here. Argentina carrying a one-goal lead. Taliafico. A long ball, but not especially accurate. Vidal. Sanchez pushes to get on the end of it. Sanchez provides an outlet. And it's Oriana. And helps available out wide. Oriana. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner.
brings it forward. He's on a charge, but he's on his own for now. Forward it goes. Arangis tries lifting it over. Chance to squeeze it through. No, not quite. Otamendi plays it forward. Dybala. Timely intervention. In with the challenge. Argentina really have been alive to interceptions and picking off any loose balls. He gets past his man. Dybala. And he heaves it forward. Arankis. And it's Vargas. So, Jim, what are you thinking? They're ahead, but they're not playing as if they are. There seems to be... Uh more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. And he's there to cut it out. Chile are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. And there is some activity down on the touchline. Argentina are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. And the weighted pass. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. And it's been taken straight back. And here's Vargas. It's got through to him. Chile need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. He's got options out wide. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. Cut out in the nick of time. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Eduardo Vargas with the delivery. And that's it. Pretty much the ideal start. A win on the first day and a platform on which to build. Your final thoughts, Jim? Well, they've laid down a marker with such a good opening win, and they're saying to the rest of the group, we're intent on staying at the top. On this evidence, I think there's every chance, too.